Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I'm checking out the Ear Fun Free Pros, a dot style earbud that I bought myself for this review. These earbuds are the twins to the Phil T1 Pros that I recently reviewed, the Chinese app version of the Phil T1 Pros. And because I thought that those Phil T1 Pros were such a great sounding earbud, I was really, really excited to check out these Ear Fun Free Pros. Now, in this review, I'm going to cover their specs, their latency, their sound quality, their microphone quality, kind of, you know, the normal stuff that I do. And I'm going to let you know whether or not you should buy these $59 earbuds from Amazon. Yes, Amazon, not AliExpress, not Kickstarter, not Indiegogo, Amazon today, get them by Christmas, no problem. And I'm gonna give it to you straight with the Earfun 3 Pros, just like I did with the Phil T1 Pros. These sound great, these sound freaking great. They sound, in my opinion, they sound incredibly different than the Phil T1 Pros. Still fantastic, but actually better for the way that I like to listen to music. Now, unlike the Phil's, like I said, these are 100% English language earbud. And unlike the Phil's, there's no app available or needed. Look, it's not a problem that there's no app because these earbuds are shipped with fully enabled touch controls for play, pause, switching ANC on, off, ambient mode on, off, low latency mode, skipping to the next track, not previous track. Previous track is not available. Volume control, activating the voice assistant. Did I say low latency mode? Well, movie mode, it's there. It's a lot of controls. In my opinion, they probably just like ran out of room for where to put the previous track control. And look, I can live with it. Like, I don't really go back that often. I go forward or I can use the assistant to go back. And these touch controls are good. They're sensitive, they work. So these are a feature pack, but they're, but they're also super small. They're extremely low profile. They're comfortable, they're light. They're stable with those wingtips. And because they have that ambient mode plus the ANC off mode plus the ANC mode, that makes them a good bud for working out or just plain jamming around the house or the office. Now, like the Phil T1 Pros, the case is also super small and it charges wirelessly and the buds last a really long time. Seven hours per charge with the ANC off, six with it on, 32 hours with the case. There's one light on the case that indicates the charging status. Now, the active noise cancellation on these is the same as the Phil's, right? Which is about to say just okay. I mean, it's there if you need it. It does a little bit of white noise reduction in the background and it can be helpful. I used it at my daughter's swim meet the other day. I wore it for about four hours, blocked out a lot of the sounds of the pool, but still let me hear what was going on around me in terms of the swimmers. It was really nice, but it's not an overpowering ANC like some of the other higher priced ANC earbuds. The Earfun Free Pros support AAC for high definition audio and they have a movie mode. Again, if the movies that you're watching don't feel like they're lag free turn on that low latency mode it'll work even better for watching movies and it gives you a decent gaming experience earfun claims 100 milliseconds of latency here's how i rated them in my latency test and remember my latency test i'm not trying to you know i'm not trying to confirm the manufacturer's numbers i'm not trying to net out the losses of latency that are inherent in my equipment. I'm just giving it to you straight how I record it. It's the easiest thing for me to do and it's relative to all the other earbuds that I've tested. Now given that test, in my actual experience gaming with these and watching movies with these, the Earfun Free were really acceptable. 
for I mean, they acceptable is a crappy word. They, they were good. They were good for playing Call of Duty Mobile, and they were great for watching movies on any platform, Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, Plus, whatever. They just worked really well. And the gaming experience is a lot better left to right soundstage than front to back soundstage. So that 360 degree uh, view that I've talked about several times lately, it's not as great in the, it's not, it wasn't as great in my opinion in the earphone free pros. Still a great experience, way better than just using your phone to play Call of Duty Mobile or you know any game that requires kind of a 360 hearing radius, diameter, but perhaps not the absolute best soundstage representation for gaming. For music, it seems to be actually quite good in my, in my experience. I'm probably babbling about this. They're great for gaming. They're great for music. They're great for watching movies. Now these earbuds do have Bluetooth 5.2 and they have mono mode. So either earbud can be used in, in mono mode. They have a really solid, simple connection. It's rock solid up to about 75 feet away. And it's again, that nice feature that as soon as you open the lid of the case, they connect. And that will mean that as soon as you close the case, that's when they disconnect. So you can put the buds into the case, one or both of them, they're still connected until you close that case. These earbuds are IPX5 rated, so you can use these for your workouts, no problem, whether you get them sweat, sweaty or they get rained on, no problem. Okay, so let's get a little deeper into that sound quality. I mean, this is easy. These are some of the best sounding buds that I've tested all year. They sound amazing and they get really, really loud. 106 decibels. I mean, I think that's gotta be, you know, top five, certainly top 10. So be careful with your ears out there, people. These get loud. They have dual dynamic drivers and both the bass and the details of the mids and highs are excellent. I mean, I can hardly believe that these are the twins to the Phil T1 Pros. They're just tuned so differently. Now the Phil's do have that equalizer app it's in Chinese, so it's kind of hard to even figure out what you're doing with it. So I guess you could probably tune the fills through the EQ settings to sound like the earphones, but out of the box, these earphones are tuned way differently. They deliver huge bass, sub bass, much more than the Phil T1 Pros in, in their normal mode. But they're not as forward biased on the vocals and the highs are not kind of as pushed forward either. They still sound tremendously detailed, but they're just not ever getting quite, I would just say as bright without saying that the fills ever get harsh. They sound great. Both sets of earbuds sound great, but this is just a little bit more of a satisfying experience from my personal preferences. So let me sum up that sound quality one more time. They sound awesome. They have tremendous amount of satisfying, sweet bass and sub bass. There, I said it. I really like these earbuds and the way they sound. I'm sure that you will too. Now, let's check out the four ENC, or environmental noise canceling mics on the Air Earfun Free Pros. Say that five times fast. This is a test call with the Earfun Free Pro, making the call from my OnePlus 8 Pro, and I'm also dual recording with my Pixel 4 XL. And then from the Earfun Free Pros, you're getting what they have, which is uh, four microphones with ENC, with environmental noise canceling, the sister bud that these are most closely related to, which I think they're twins of, is the Phil T1 Pros. And the Phil T1 Pros, I think, did a good job picking up my voice, but they didn't seem to block a lot of the background noise. The Earfun 3 that I've tested had really good microphones, so I'm hoping that Earfun took these earbuds and improved the microphones over what Phil did with their microphones. At least you get a feel for what it would sound like if you took a call with the Earfun 3 Pro and you were an out outdoor environment. It is not windy. Um, light is green and one more car coming, so I'm just going to let that pass. It's going actually really fast, way beyond the 30 mile an hour speed limit here. And um, light is green and one more car coming, so I'm just going to let that pass. It's going actually really fast, way beyond the 30 mile an hour speed limit here. Entitled Tesla driver, that's what you are. Okay, based on that test, the Earfun Free Pros did a good job picking up my voice while in with some traffic in the background, but not so good at blocking out heavy background noises. And I do think that these make my voice sound just a little bit mechanical, even when there's not a lot going on in the background. So in my opinion, these are just a mid-pack mic in my mic series rankings, but you can be the judge of that and let me know what you think in the comments.
So here's what I think of these earbuds. Man, they are phenomenal sounding earbud with tons of bass. They have a fantastic array of features, pretty much everything except for in-ear detection. The ANC is good, but it's not as strong as many other more expensive earbuds that are out there. And they have a very good ambient mode. They are certainly workable for running outdoors or going and taking a workout at the gym or in the home gym. Plus they're a great fitting low profile earbud and that case is small and wirelessly charges. What do I think they could improve? Well, I mean, they're ear fun. They've made some mics. Uh, they've made some really good mics on some of their other earbuds. I would have liked to have seen them improve these mics. There's four mics. It seems to me they could have spent a little bit of time tuning these to be a little bit better than what I experienced in that test. So that's what I think of the ear fun free pros. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone. So Zen out.